season of arrivals kicked off yesterday and with it comes a new event called Contact. So this is the new PvE activity for the season. It's kind of like a cross between Gambit and the Seraph Towers, with some champions thrown in there for good measure. So the following is a guide for how to complete the Contact public event, including how to get access, how to trigger the heroic mode and the loot that you get. And don't forget, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button to get all the latest Destiny 2 content. So Contact is the main focus of the PvE activities in Season of Arrivals, and this is a public event on IO in the shadow of the newly arrived Pyramid ships. So this is an iteration on the previous public events that we've had back in Season of the Worthy with the Seraph Tower, mixing Gambit-like mechanics with champions and some orbs thrown in there for good measure. You want to run through the first story mission, and this involves investigating Io and trying to re-establish contact with Eris Morn. So you want to run through the mission and pick up the Seed of the Silver Wings at the end of the mission. Then go and speak to the Drifter, and he'll give you a little bit of a backstory, including wanting to contain the darkness, with Eris wanting to use the darkness to charge the Seed to cut through the interference and understand all the hidden messages. Once you've spoken to the Drifter and picked up the Seed of the Silver Wings, and this acts as the seasonal artifact for Season 11. You'll also see an in-game pop-up saying you've now got access to Contact, which can be found on Io. So head on over to Io and look out for the marker on the map. When you're on Io, you'll either see the event in progress, and if so, you can just go and join in, or you'll have to place down a beacon in a circle on the floor to kick off the event. The objective of the event is to get through the waves and then defeat the final boss at the end. So this is a 1040 activity and it's going to be much easier to go in with a fire team that you know, rather than randoms. However, it is still possible to go in with randoms, but if you're aiming for the heroic completion then a fire team is a good way to go earlier in the season. Once you start the event you'll be faced with a bunch of enemies and you want to kill these and bank the moats of darkness into the gambit style moat bank found at the centre of the event. You can carry up to 10 moats at a time and you want to bank them as soon as possible. There are four rounds in total for this event and to get through the rounds you need to charge up the bank and you can see a percentage number going up on the left hand side. During each round, normally in the final third, you'll notice a laser coming out of the darkness mini ship floating in the air above the event. So this laser points to an orb which is called a bloom and some champions that spawn in each round. And you want to get rid of the champions and then bring the bloom to the bank and deposit that there too. As well as regular enemies like Cabal and Vex that attack you throughout the event, Taken will spawn as lookout scouts of Savathun. And you want to take these out as soon as possible as they will lock down the bank making it impossible for you to deposit moats of the darkness. So work your way through the waves, killing enemies, banking moats of darkness and also banking the three blooms where the champions spawn and this will lead to the heroic mode of the contact event in the fourth round. You'll know that the heroic mode has been triggered by the taken Pyromaster spawning in. And this guy, he's a bit of a bruiser and he's got three sections to his health bar. Once you've damaged him a bit, he'll drop a shield and you want to keep an eye out for the lasers that beam down again onto the map. And there you'll see a taken blight. So you want to take out the taken that spawn and then take out the blight three times to bust through the shields and ultimately take down the final boss. It can be tough at the start of this event with everyone under leveled, so if you're going into the heroic mode, then do try and go in with a fire team, although as I said before, you can go in with randoms too. You could also use the Bungie Companion app to try and find a fire team for this. So Ariana's Vow is a good weapon to go in with if you've got access to that, and you've also got mods on your seasonal artifact and they're going to be really useful for the champions. There's some really good swords in the new Season of Arrivals too, which not only look awesome, but can offer some high impact damage. The new Seasonal Exotic is also really good, and that's called Wither Horde. So Whisper of the Worm and Xenophage, they're also really good exotic weapons to go in there with, and you can take down the bosses with those weapons. Rocket Launchers also seem to have had a buff this season, and they can be really useful for taking out large groups of enemies and bosses too. Once you complete the event for the first time you get an Umbral Engram which you'll then take to the Drifter and it'll take you through the process of focusing Engram so you can choose the loot to get out of Season of Arrivals. The look of this loot this season is really really cool and the narrative of the darkness infused Engrams and the weapons and gear is really really interesting. But I'll do a more in-depth guide later about the Umbral Engrams and the loot and how you can focus weapons and armour. As always, let me know what you think down in the comments, how are you getting on with the contact events so far, and let me know what loot dropped for you. Well that's it for this guide on how to complete the contact public event, including heroic, access, and the loot that you get. 
and thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below, subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to be notified the next time I upload, hit that bell button too. To join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out these other videos on the channel. Thanks again, see you soon. Oh, Lord.